Hey there everyone, it's Valmore. Welcome back to my kitchen for another recipe from the Hero's Feast cookbook. This is going to be the first recipe I made that I would consider an actual dessert. Sure, I've made some cookies, but those fall more on the lines of snacks or, or tea time treats. Whereas this would actually be one of the courses of dinner. The last course be probably being dessert. This is Heartland's Rose Apple and Blackberry Pie. Let's get started. So this is going to be the same pie crust recipe that I used for the hand pies. So I'm going to start with some flour, some salt. And I'm just going to give that a quick mix to even everything out. Some cold shortening and cold butter. And I'm going to use the pastry cutter to break that up and mix it in. Now I'm going to add some ice water a little bit at a time and mix it in until it starts to stick together a bit. Now I'm going to put it onto the floured surface. And I'm just going to keep folding it in on itself until it comes together a bit. Now I'm going to cut it in half into two separate balls. I'm just going to flatten it out a bit. Then I'm going to wrap it up and I'm just going to let it cool in the fridge for a few hours. So I'm going to peel, core, and chop some apples. You could really use whatever kind of apples you want on this. These are some golden delicious. So the recipe in the book calls to microwave the apples to soften them up, but this is a cooking show, so I'm going to cook it. So I'm going to add some sugar, some cinnamon, and some cornstarch. I'm going to mix that together, and I'm going to cook that up until it softens and gets a little liquidy. So this recipe comes to us from the same area the last week's recipe did. That one came from Cormorp, which is a city in the western heartlands. Cormorp has one of the largest halfling populations in all of Faerun. This area is also full of rich and prosperous farmland. It provides many of the goods for the surrounding region, which stretches all the way to Baldur's Gate in the west. And the rumor has it that this recipe was created when a halfling came back home after foraging and couldn't decide whether to make something with apples or blackberries. So they did both. And now that those have softened a bit, I'm just going to let them cool down so that I can add them to the pie. So I'm going to roll out the dough for the bottom of the pie. And now I'm going to put it in the pie pan. Now to get the blackberries ready, I'm going to start with sugar, cornstarch, just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to put in the blackberries. I'm going to toss those around. And I'm going to finish with some lemon juice. And just let that stir to coat everything. So I'm going to start by putting the blackberries into the pie. And I'm going to put some pieces of butter over top of that. Now I'm going to top with apples. And I'm going to roll off the top of the pie. And now I'm going to top it. Now I'm going to put on an egg wash. And then I'm going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of sugar. Then it's going to go in the oven for about an hour. 
And then I'm going to let it cool for about another uh, two hours before I cut into it. That was so good. The apples and the blackberries, they go perfectly with each other. It wasn't too sweet, it wasn't too sour, nothing was overcooked, there was a nice firmness to the fruit. It was just delicious. The pie crust was crispy and flaky, which I was worried about for a second, because you probably didn't notice, but I messed up my measurements when I was making the crust. I had come in about a cup short of flour, and I didn't notice until I had wrapped everything up and put it in the fridge. I wasn't going to waste all those ingredients. Fortunately, I was able to fix it. I added the, a half a cup of flour with the already separated dough, and then I cut it in with the pastry cutter, so as to not overwork it by folding it in. And then I just flattened it out again and put it back in the fridge. I was worried it was going to be overworked, but turned out just as good as you would hope. Overall, this is a delicious dessert, although I'm not ashamed to say leftover pie is also a great breakfast, so that's what I'll be having tomorrow. I hope you enjoy. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Velmore. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.